what's up? This is Anthony Campos, a.k.a. Big Citri. You're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. I think I got it right. right Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. And yourself? I'm great. So we have to talk about your show, Lopez. Right. Tell me a little bit about it and how you got involved with this show. This is uh, George Lopez, a new show called Lopez on TV Land every Wednesday night at 10.30. Season 2, uh, Manolo uh, broke, broke parole, so he ends up in jail. And he, um, he go, he, but part of his conditional release is, is going back to school and getting his GED. But in the process of all that, he's getting bullied and dealing with stuff that, you know, kids would deal with. But you know, it, Manolo's dealing with it, so that's what makes it funny. I'm, I'm in adult school, and I'm, but I'm getting bullied. Mm -hmm. So you know, we, we we look forward to that. And George, like always, trying to find the le the, the love of his life, got involved with it by uh, by the guys from the, that wrote it and and. and creators of Silicon Valley, John Auschler and uh, Dave Krinsky. I worked with them on a few projects before and uh, for a couple years they kept telling me we got something in the works, we're working on something. I'm like, cool, cool, you know, in the meantime, I stood on my grind and doing what I had to do, you know. I would love to work with George Lopez too. I feel like anything he does is like amazing and yeah. hilarious, so. Keeps you laughing all day. Yeah, <laughs> how is it working with him? It's fantastic, it's comedy with, that, with, with this guy, man, because it's like, you don't know. You don't know what he's gonna say next. He's roasting everybody on set. Oh God! So you know you're hoping. I hope he don't get to me. Yet, but most of the time he was always on me. I couldn't ask for a better boss. Okay, so before you were a big star of Lopez, you had a moment uh, that kind of changed your life when your son Eric was born, right? So mm -hmm. how did your son kind of influence you to you know change your life? Well, I mean, when when uh, before I had him, you know, I, I, I was I, I was uh, just out there doing you know doing day to day things, you know that that. that you know, you're not supposed to be doing, obviously, and and getting caught up and stuff like that. But the minute he was born, I just like I just saw life in a whole nother manner because now I look at it like, man, now I got him to take care of and he's gonna worry about me and you know, so it's like it just it just it just changed my whole my whole aspect of life. The biggest life lesson I've learned was the biggest life lesson I learned is uh always stay humble. <laughs> you know, and um, always uh always give back to your community. Because uh, you you know you never know when you might end up having to go back and, and uh, you know you, if you know you lose your street cred or or you know for whatever you know whatever reason you know it's it's not a pretty thing so you always gotta remember where you came from and you know and, and always stay humble. At the end of the day, what do you want people to remember you for? Uh, just I don't know, being a big slack, I guess. I <laughs> Not just you know, just a funny dude, you know, just having a good time with, with and, and enjoying life and. And uh, always, you know, I'm always lo looking out for people too. If, you know, so basically, I just, I just want to be that guy that can. If I can help you out, I I'm gonna help you out. You know, if I can't, then it's out of my hands, and there's really not much I can do. But if I can do something for somebody, then you know, that, that's the person I am, and that's what I always want to be remembered for. I like that. That's a perfect way to end this. So <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you.